Hello, at the request of uh, one of my YouTube subscribers, uh, I want to do a care sheet on the Thrixopama ocrity. Another name for the, the common name of the Thrixopama ocrity is the Peruvian flame rump. I've also heard it called the pink rump, Peruvian pink rump, and the Peruvian orange rump. Uh, Canada and the United States, you'll hear it called the flame rump or the pink rump. In the UK, you'll hear it mostly called the orange rump. The size can get to about five and a half, five and a half to six inches. However, the males being smaller, like uh, all tarantulas, uh, they get up to be about three to four inches. As far as the temperament goes, they are actually quite skittish. Uh, Although they are more likely to flick hairs at you and to run away uh, rather than bite. Um, they will also point their abdomen up at you uh, when they are agitated. Uh, they'll kind of walk in this real stealth-like manner and they'll point their abdomen up at you. So be careful because they might uh, use that as a poop cannon. <laughs> uh, this one hasn't pooped on me yet, but this definitely threatened to. Uh, so I would say this is a okay beginner species, just uh, I'd say it's docile, but it can also be skittish, but of course uh, personalities vary. Um, you might actually end up having a rare aggressive teocrity, uh, but most of them are docile to skittish. Uh, as far as life expectancy goes, females uh, live anywhere between 12 and 15 years. Males, about 3 to 4 years. They are fast growing. Uh, the cost is anywhere between $20 and $30 for a half inch sling. But if you want to get an adult, you better be ready to fork out some money because it'll be anywhere between $125 and $175. Because uh, they are not the most common tarantulas out there. Um, as far as the enclosure setup, just really simple. Uh, they tend to be semi-arboreal, uh, which means sometimes uh, they like to be on the ground and other times they prefer to be up high. So what I do is uh, I give them enough substrate in case they do decide to burrow but also give them a piece of wood here to climb on in case they are in the mood to climb and be high up. Um, this enclosure is a little large for this tarantula, but like, like I said earlier, they're fast growing, so they, this one will grow into this enclosure before you know it. Um, so as far as enclosures go, get, you know, if you wanna be simple, uh, get you an enclosure that is, I guess, kind of in the middle. You don't want one that's too long, but you don't want one that's too vertical either. So get you one that's in the middle. You know, get you one that's not too tall and not too long. Uh, these tarantulas are just very easy to keep. Um, as far as temperature goes, if you really want to get down to the nitty gritty of the temperatures anywhere between 77 and 82 degrees would work. Uh, humidity levels about 80 uh, percent. I personally am not real strict when it comes to temperature and humidity of this particular species because they are hardy tarantulas and pretty much all you need to do uh, in order to keep the humidities levels uh, comfortable for them is just to give them a water dish, although this tarantula is too small to give a water dish to. So just spray mist the enclosure about once or twice a week uh, for these tarantulas that are smaller and they can drink the water off of the uh, substrate as well as the sides of the enclosure or the plant right there. Um, so that's what you need to do for the slings. And for the older ones, just provide a water dish. And uh, you can still spray mist it once or twice a week to keep the humidity levels up where it needs to be. Uh, with most tarantulas, I'd say it's safe to uh, 
just if you're comfortable your tarantula is going to be comfortable now there are exceptions the uh, swamp dwellers like your therifosa uh, tarantulas definitely have to have high humidity or they will not thrive well at all so just do your research and you'll see that some tarantulas require more humidity than others this one uh, is hardy uh, and so you don't really have to worry about that just like I said earlier just spray mist it once or twice a week and if it's a big enough tarantula give it a water dish and just to uh, show you the uh, temperament uh, when they're nervous you can see they're kind of scrunched up like that they do that when they're kind of scared but let me see if I can demonstrate what they do when they are agitated see that pointed its rump up in the air that's what it does when it's agitated and it can also kick hairs uh, this one's already showing its adult colors uh, the majority of the body is kind of a moss green color it's beautiful and of course as the common name states the uh, the abdomen is a pink color so it is indeed a very beautiful uh, tarantula uh, if you're interested in breeding your tarantula uh, I've heard that they're actually quite hard to breed because the females tend to be extra aggressive towards the males but the good news is if you can actually get them to breed you can get up to 600 babies uh, so that's quite amazing of course it's kind of hard to believe that they're not the most common teas in the world and yet they can have up to 600 babies but that's just what I've heard so um, but anyway uh, I hope this helps um, if you have any questions just write me in the comment section and I'll be glad to answer you in case I miss something uh, but you know don't fret over it they're very easy to care for just get them some substrate something to climb on uh, and they'll they're good I, I just put the fake plant in there for decoration and then they can climb on it if they want to uh, get them a container uh, at Walmart uh, or the dollar store if you want to go cheap if you want to go uh, average price get you a critter keeper Obviously, uh, don't forget to put holes in the uh, containers that you buy at the dollar store or Walmart so that they can breathe. Uh, so yes, uh, don't forget that. That's very important and for ventilation to help aid with the humidity levels. So, all right, I think this is it. The Thrixopalma Ocker Tea Care Sheet. Thanks very much. Stay tuned for the feeding video.